Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of an Aussie Fummy in the Philippines. G'day. G'day, mate. Well, look at the time, would you? It's just after five o'clock in the morning. Just after five. Now, I'm up so early today on a Friday so early. Well, we've got Stu coming over. Remember Stu from the um, dirt bag house build? I'll put a video up here so you can see that at the end screen. He's coming over. He's got a um, internet thing where, you know, you put all the money in for the internet and they get their phone going and all this shit. And um, I said to him, can I have all your coins for the kiddies for Christmas? He said, yeah, no problem, I'll save it up, how much do you want? So I said, I want about 5,000. 5,000 peso worth of coins and um, save them up for me when you do yours, if you can. And um, when you bring them here, I can fix you up. And he said, all right, no problem, piece of piece. I said, thank you, bud. So anyway, he contacted me and he said, I'm coming in on Friday. I'll drop all the coins off for you. And I said, thanks, mate. I said, listen, while you're here, can we make some um, chicken pies? He went, oh, fuck my dog. And I said, no, I'll have everything ready. It's just that last time when we made them, I was on the video and I actually didn't get to see too much hands on where I want to this time. So I've got the chickens boiling away. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Got the butters out getting soft. Got the, well, I've got to have my Vegemite toast at five o'clock. So now I'm going to cut up all the vegetables and get all the vegetables ready. I can get them all boiling through. So that when stew comes, all we have to do is just make up the dough, make up the roux, and um, make the pies up, roll them out and make them. Very easy. So I'm gonna be getting as much as I can done hands on myself today. So let's see how we go. Well, I said, um, it's five o'clock in the morning. It's dark, we got Vegemite. Let's do it, bitch. <clears throat> All right, carrots chopped up, onions chopped up. <laughs> my eyes are killing me. I hope my wife appreciates what I'm doing for her. So the chicken's boiled now for uh, 45 minutes. So just turn it off now, just leave it. Let it cool right the way down. Then we'll take the chickens out. We keep the stock and that will go into the, um, the flour and butter roux mix that we make up for the white sauce. So just let them cool down now. Lovely little bastards. <laughs> Eyes like this at 5.30 in the morning is not fucking good, guys, I tell you. All right, guys, so what we're up to now is stripping down the chickens. So we just stopped and fed all the animals, and she's bottled all her babies. Everything's done. So now we're back into it again. So I'm going to strip all this down, pull it apart, and they can get ready on the side for when Stu comes to mix it all together. It's coming along absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Right, so look at that. That's all the carcasses. So, some beautiful necks there for the pups. Lovely. Chicken. So, what she said is keep it in bite-sized pieces so you know it's chicken. Because remember, when you're stirring it, it's all going to break down a little bit more as well. You know, so in goes the chicken. Here's all our veggies that we pre-cooked earlier. All inside. And this was the fun part that I've seen Stu do. Clean hands and mix it by hand, nice and slowly. Get your head in here, woman. Get your head in there. Okay, just like that. And as they say, a cooker gets his hand into everything, gets better cooking. So we'll stir this in, and I'll just leave that then till stew arrives, and we'll make up the pastry. Thanks for watching this part of the video, guys. Don't forget, share, subscribe, or bye. Thanks guys. Right guys, so yes I was right, it was Stu. So we've got all the containers, we're gonna be making the pies. And what have you got for Chick Chick? I have my coins. So this is the coins, how much is there? 5,000 5, pesos. So there's 5,000 pesos there in coins, that's for the kiddies. So um. Chin Yeah look, Peter pays Paul, look at that. <laughs> so, we've got the money for the kiddies this year again. So normally I have to go to the bank and you can't just go to the teller, you've got to go to the manager, manager. see the manager, tell them why you want it, what you're gonna do, give them your mother's fucking maiden name, and how many times she has sex when she was younger, and then they'll decide, oh, okay, then I'll get you some. Seriously, it's fucking pathetic, absolutely pathetic. But we've got all the coins, so we're happy. All right, bub, take them away from your cooking. We've got work to do. Hey, Stu. Hi. So, you all know Stu from the, um, the dirt bag house build, the channel is? Building our dreams vlog. Building our dreams vlog. And this is Mrs. over here. Hi. This lovely eye eye. 
G'day. 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 Right, so we're going to get on to this. Chick's going to go up the back for the durian harvest to see how's it going with Popper. So we'll be back at you soon, guys. Let's get into this bitch. Right, guys, so now it's time to make the dough, the pastry. So what we've got, two kilos of all-purpose flour. And we've also got this stuff here. What's this stuff called? Um, shortening. Vegetable shortening. Now, you buy this online. So Chick brought three packets of this. They come in one kilo packets. So this is easy. It's two to one. So two kilos of flour, one kilo shortening. We're also going to put some um, baking. 19 grams of baking powder. Baking powder. So better get that out right now. And we're going to get into this. So I'll be back at you after I've got it mixed up. Right, guys. So there we go. We've got two kilos of the all-purpose flour. Two kilos of that. We've also got um, 18 grams of baking powder. Baking powder. And we've also got a four-finger sally of salt. Who knows what a four-fingered sally is? <laughs> You're naughty, <laughs> William. <laughs> with that, we've mixed all that together. It's all been sifted. So now we're going to put this in. So what we do is we add this all in little tiny pieces, then go in by hands. So I'll show you after it's gone in. Okay, so it's all incorporated together. Remember, little movement as you can get. Mix it all in. And we just put it into, patted it into a ball. We haven't kneaded it, nothing. Don't even slap the bastard's ass. And that will go in the fridge for one hour. One hour, yeah. Right, one hour now to make it really re relax. G'day, I. G'day. 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 Right, guys, well, it's now after lunch, so it's been in the fridge for a good hour, but it doesn't matter, you know, as long as it's there being, behaving itself, it's quite nicely. So what we're going to do, we're going to make this size pies up, and I'll tell you, these are the ones, guys. And we've also got some ones that I got from um, some time back was these smaller ones. But it's going to do what's some leftovers and do some smaller ones for individual pies. So I've got four of these type as well. And um, we'll be able to do those. I'm not using the uh, pie maker machine today, which is like the Breville one. I'm not making that because it, it cooks it, but it doesn't put the crispy layer, you know, on the pastry. It doesn't do that. So I'm not after it. All right, we'll show you what we're getting up to, guys. Right guys, so what we're doing, these are our, our bases here, this is going to be our tops. So we've made out the first one over here, so it's just a matter of squashing it down, getting them into a rounded shape, and then hitting it with the rolling pin. And leave them on the side, let them all sit there. Don't trim them, don't do nothing, just put them down and leave the bastards. Alright fellas, fellas and girls and guys and guys and gals. So what we've got, we've got a couple of large tins this time compared to last time. I think we got eight last time, didn't we? Eight last time, yeah. We got eight, so but this time we got six because these are a bigger tin on these ones here. So make up all the bases first, put all the fillings inside, and then give it a monkey come around the sides with a bit of um, egg. Uh, egg. And then we lay this one on top and just leave it, guys. Don't trim it off yet. Don't do nothing. Just push him aside and leave him and make up the next ones. When they've all settled down and they've all shrunk back into their own size, then you can worry about crimping and cutting. But don't do it just yet. Right, what do you think, I? Yes. Yes? I supervising. <laughs> Lovely. Cha! How's that? Light press only, join it together. Do not cut the sides. Look at that guys, only two more to go. Okay. Okay, so what we do now is just show me how to cut the sides. Now, if you got the metal tin cooking, what the fuck are you doing? Coffee. Well, stop it and talking. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Everything is yes, 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 yes. You know, do you want a beer? Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you want a beer, 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 beer? Sound like a beer. 25, 35, 45, 55, 55, 55, 55, 75, 75, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, 55, Okay, so if you've got the tin foil ones, remember the old, not the tin foil, if you've got the tin baking ones like we had in the old days, you know, those enamel ones, you can hold it up in your hand and cut around the bottom of it and all that. You know, like this style. But these ones, they're the aluminium foil ones, these ones here. And 
The trouble you could have as a student saying is you can get in onto the sides. So an easier way, you can do it this way, yes, but if you've got way. foil, the best way is leave it on there and just cut it from the top. Yeah. But if you've got the enamel old cooking tins back from the 1940s and 50s, they're more solid. Solid, you can just pick it up and just around. Well, sorry about that interruption from the women. Guys, they only think about themselves, you know. What's that? What's that on my basset? Alright, so what we're doing now is the crimping on these. So it's quite easy, little crimpings. So before we crimp it, what we actually got to do is bring the sides up. So what we do is pull the sides up like so and give it a squeeze together. Then you can go into your fingers and give it the pleating. They call it pleating? What do you call this? Crimping. Crimping. There you go. Nice little crimping, just like so. Lovely. Hey, Ai Ai. Ai Ai's my assistant filmer today. So she's very happy. She also gets double salary because she's doing technical work, not cleaning work. So she's really over the moon and happy today. Right, so there we go. Voila. What do you think, guys? Bloody lovely, hey? Right guys, so this is the end product. Give them a nice egging over the top, a bit of egging and salt on there. That's all nicely done. We've got two in the oven cooking away now. So these will be all okay. Remember, you only cook in the pastry because everything else is already cooked inside. So getting that up. This is all the stock. We're going to keep all this into, um, into uh, plastic containers. And this is always good to use because this is beautiful chicken stock, guys. And vegetable stock. You don't want to waste it. Don't throw nothing out. So that's where we are. Thank you very much, Stu, for your help today. No problem. Thank you, I.I., for holding the camera. <laughs> thank you for Chick Chick staying out of my way. Yeah. And thank you guys for watching us today. So we've done it a couple of weeks ago. Oh, hello, missus. Hi. <laughs> Building our dreams blog, please subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Building our dreams blog. Doing the dirtbag house. There'll be a link up here that you can go and have a look at. So thanks for watching guys. We did it before with um, Stu and I just watched him while he did it But this time I wanted to do the hands-on so I got confidence in it and it certainly bloody worked So look out for some meat pies coming up as well and some of chickens chicks chicks lovely Stewy pies that you make those mm. stewy things the beef. Yeah uh, spring rolls. Oh, was it? <sighs> Fuck my dog. What are we talking about? <laughs> Fucking pies. Pies! <laughs> beef cargo See <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Catch you later. Bye bye. Right guys, so this is the finished product of the pork pies. So we only got six this time because they were bigger tins. However, that just means more for chicken eye to eat at night. But that's the finished babies. Isn't that good? I like it. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please share, subscribe, bye bye.